26,000 roads up this mountain You can get lost in a minute if you try And it's probably enough that I was laughing today Looking this close in your eyes There's a great upset in NBA playoff history I said there was a thousand roads up this mountain The Denver Nuggets versus the Utah Jazz. In the starting lineup. Hornison. Knocked away. And it's off the court of the Denver Nuggets. With his dramatic shot in game four. Alfonso Ellis. The foul will be on him. Stockton had the defensive position. Stockton. Out to the wide open. Corbin had the big game three a week ago in Denver. Malone, four to nothing. Good defense. Malone came up with it. Stockton. That's out of bounds to the Jazz. Last catch by a bull Wolf. We know Carl Malone came with more than one bullet in his gun today, and uh, he said if he had to fire them all, that's what he's going to do. And this is what Matumbo wants to see, Carl Malone fading away. It's much easier to control Malone and the Jazz when he's playing out on the perimeter. Oh Nearly three minutes gone. Four nothing, and a whistle. Another elbow, and this might be on Matumbo. It is. It's a first one. Coming through the lane, not much of a shot, but a shot anyway. And Jake, uh, with the intent of getting this seventh game under control, just Kersey on his sideline. Underneath to Matumbo, and he misses a little tap in, but was fouled by Felton Spencer and Gene Williams. They had the numbers, but didn't take advantage. Stiff with a strong move has the first basket. 7:41 left in the quarter. Hornacek runner not there. Stiff. Stockton almost knocking away. And he forces the turnover. Stockton reaching from behind. And that's two plays, the little things you don't see in the box score the next morning. Uh, he is carrying him right now. Nobody else can make a shot. They're all afraid of Matumbo. The oh, there's a basket for Hornacek, goaltending on Matumbo. Wide open jumpers. And this is kind of a reflection of what went on in game six. Sides. Four and a half minutes to go in the quarter, and uh, Malone threw that right into Matumbo. And then the foul on Humphreys trying to stop Robert Pack. On the box, that's where they're going now. That's a three pointer for Brian Williams. Four minutes to go, opening quarter. Sims picked him up. Play to Malone. Tumble. Oh, that was close. If he goaltend, he got it with the thumbnail as he just gone across. And if it's a whisper. If he had, uh, we could have glasses on, tell yeah, me. Yeah, tough to do. Cut <laughs> your fingernails, uh, Dikembe. <laughs> to Chambers. Hornacek with a pass. Part of his game, and uh, he likes to get to that rim. 
Reggie Williams gets the basket and he is fouled. Jeff Hornacek doesn't have enough pressure on him as the passer, and he leads Tom Chambers nice and easy for the hoop. And then Reggie Williams taking advantage of the size against Hornacek, which he's been able to do in all six games, draws a foul. Williams with six. Chambers out to Hornacek. Malone on the side, and Malone! Teammates drew this. Uh, First 12 minutes of play, he gets Matumbo running out. There's nobody in the middle. A hammer on the way down. And who scored 2,000 plus points in seven consecutive years, and he can hit him outside, he can hit him inside. And he is the offensive spirit of this team. Series. On a sec. So ends a glacier-like first quarter for the visitors from Denver. 19-12. It was a great vintage, and Carl Malone was the key to Utah. That's the end of the first. a timeout. They're getting their open shots. Obviously, they just can't knock them down, as you see here. Uh, Gene Littles, their assistant coach, said that he thinks his team is a little... Trace against Pack. The tumble. Looks like Pack got a piece of the shot. Pack. Oh. Ryan Williams flying in to spot the rebound. Four points for him. It's a big 10 to 1. but never really able to put him away. And they're going to get a foul against Matumbo. And that'll be his second. <laughs> Ryan Williams was the hero in Seattle with these kinds of play in game five, trying to do it here in uh, game seven, but a tremendous tip. Kempe Matumbo likes the jump hook, but this time he swings it. Yeah, that's the kind of form that uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar would have been proud of that shot. And the Kembe Matumbo grew up in the shadow of the Kilimanjaro, Mount Kilimanjaro in Zaire. I think we just give us a break, kind of look. And uh, Abdul Raouf and Stockton, and that may be a double foul. Changed elbows in close quarters. Oh, this is a massage right here. You got Stockton with the hand on top, and then Raouf with the arms wrapped around him. And uh, he says, No, 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 you've got to give both of us a call if you're going to get one. It's only 5'11, 175, but pound for pound as feisty as anyone in the league. And it's his total play, and he and I go while still going at it. And a technical call this time against Stockton. This is where the pressure becomes uh, so tough for Malone. He's got to make every shot. And he does and was fouled. Rodney Rogers got him from the backside. Because as they set up this play for Carl Malone, no one else wants to shoot. So he realizes he's got to make something happen. And from the rear, Rodney Rogers gets a piece of him. Malone gets a foul. And they have a three-point attempt for Carl Malone from the line, but it has been all Carl Malone here in the first half of play. Chambers, Lafonso Ellis with two fouls, got a piece of it, Stockton takes it away, in the basket for David Benoit. Brian Williams with a foul, his second. Lafonso Ellis, 10-footer, dead center, his first basket. They cost him. Uh, Malone will streak out whenever he can, but as a team, they're not a team that wants to push the tempo of the game. Brian Williams over Tom Chambers. Good job by Ellis on the double team. 16 in the game. Oh, then he gets a basket for Denver. And it's 28-26. Malone over 
Matumbo. Tipped in by Benoit. In to Spencer. Benoit for three. Yes! David Benoit. On this period to be a scoring force for Utah. Alfonso Ellis. Dead center. It's 33-28. Points for Ellis. Made only three of 23 shots in the last three games, and he's three for three. And Chambers is blocked by Matumbo. A breakout three on one to Stiff. And he's fouled by Benoit. Now that, as you've pointed out throughout the series, Steve Jones, is the key to Denver's success and why they're here in Game 7. Lock at one end, run it quick to the other. Tom Chambers challenging Matumbo, who has said, I don't know why they keep doing this, but they do, but that's what you got to do. you got to bring it. You <laughs> feel desperate because you can't break away from this team. Every time they get bust out, the Denver Nuggets have been able to answer. Six on the shot clock. Abdul Raouf. He hits here at Delta Center. And meanwhile, at McNichols in Denver, they love that shot. He's got the 10 footer. A little short. Matumbo, he has 11 rebounds in the half. Three on one break. Abdul Raouf to Stiff. And a whistle. 35 34 if it counts. And Jake O'Donnell talking with Dan Issel. Well, this was all over Jake O'Donnell because he wants to call against John Stockton. Stockton, his second foul. On the bust out and a quick exchange between the two guards right at the end of the play, and you can't see it down at the bottom, comes John Stockton crashing into Lafonso Ellis, and you see right there he gets knocked, and then boom. If I get the, the bumper car routine, somebody else is going to get a reaction, and that's what Stockton is saying. Somebody knocked me into that guy. Oh, aggressively. Tumbo. Way off the mark. Stiff takes it into the heavy traffic and is blocked. But the offensive rebound there in a big favor of the Denver Nuggets right now. Malone again. Oh my. Carl Malone with 20. Side of the score. So they are not going to allow any jabbering or taunting or even anything close. Carl Malone back on top. As soon as they brought him in, he delivered immediate dividends. The reaction is, yes, I'm dancing today. Wanting to pick and roll with Carl Malone. Malone feeds Spencer. Beautiful pass to Malone. Alfonso Ellis. Shot over Malone. Matumbo gets it and he's handed. There's been a miss. Uh, Utah's only gotten one scoring chance. Abdul Raouf over Crowdy, 42, 37. But didn't go up strong. Reggie Williams, he can't touch it, and saving him a stiff. And the foul is on home. Reggie Williams. Reggie Williams was just trying to get out of the way and threw a block into Jay Humphreys, his second foul. Corbin into Spencer. And on Lafonso Ellis. Blocked by Matumbo, his second. And a foul on Pack, pushing along. Ball tight. But they are not shooting the ball with any kind of freedom. And there's that foul on Carl Malone with that swat of his, the quick slap. A bonus for Dan Issel. Ten misses, however, for the Nuggets. Chambers. for Corbin, and that's the end of the first half, and Utah saves best for last, led by the mailman, Carl Malone. They leave with an eight-point lead at the break, 46-38. Misses everything. Comes out to Abdul Raouf. And he scores. Stockton. Felton Spencer. Blocked by Ellis. And stay in a half court set. They're only down 10 as Matumbo picks up the foul. A very smart offensive play by Carl. Seven against 
beats Phoenix by 10. Reggie Williams. Basketball Williams. Over Brian Williams. Short. Trey Humphreys gets it back to Hornacek. Couple of ball games trying to attack with Brian Williams. Tumbo able to knock home the second chance. He has five yeah, points in the TV here now. And, uh, it's not serious, and he'll return. Come along. This is one that's been rare today. Alone, fouled by Matumbo, and he acted that one out pretty well as they ran. Matumbo's problems there and accepting that as a foul. And all we've seen throughout the playoffs, that's pretty thin. Not without that great shot blocker, they'll take it inside. 12 point game. Point of the third quarter is Reggie Williams inside, and the foul on Carl Malone will be his second. Closed down because Stockton was not in there. up turned in face and uh, really worked hard to get this one but a good strong effort produces two out of the half two. Hornacek gets the two at the other end. Hammond's trying to post up and this has been a play that's been effective but he couldn't control Ty Corbin. Corbin stole it. Corbin at the other end. Scoring! Let the shorten his own man hit him. Abdul Rauf, a tough thing set up to dump the Jay Humphreys. They're going to have to shut down Carl Malone and the Jazz in the next 3-12. There's Malone, another assist and a foul. It's to go in the third. Chambers all over. Matumbo picks up the foul. His second. Deep again. Ryan Williams to Pack. The energizer, Robert Pack, takes it all the way in. Oh, he has that good look off move. In the Malone. Way off on that one. How quickly Pack has it in the offensive end and scores again. Two in a row. And the lead cut to 14. Inside the chamber. Corbin. Play started posting him up. Rodney Rogers has to do that and make him a defensive liability. Reggie Williams a two. And Utah with a tremendous burst in the third with a man at the whip. Carl Malone, a 15-point lead at the end of three. Now a word from your local station. And a 
there to keep that going. They've got to have Reggie and Miracles do something good. They get a call against Jay Humphreys to try to get it started. This afternoon. Stopped a beautiful pass to Belton Spencer. And a foul. Spencer almost ripping down the backboard. Reggie Williams has his fourth. With no pressure on him, has the ability to see people cutting to the lane. Not much contact there, but uh, the foul goes against Reggie on the way up as he got the other, the arm closest to the basket. Belton Spencer. And the great outside shooter, the only one on the roster is Abdul Raouf, and a steal by Malone. Robert Pack, he's the fastest, and gives it to Smith. Jay Humphreys. A foul is called. Humphreys seemed to make the good deny. But got a hand on the wrist, apparently, of Smith. Pack on a bust out, and they come across, and it looked like he got the ball clean, but the Nuggets say needed a break. Maybe this is the one that will get him started the other way. Team boys now from the top. And there's the charge against Pack as Hornacek goes down. And the Nuggets feel like just not getting anything. That's a home court advantage. That has worked for them. Him being able to get a shot against Hornacek. Knocked him with a block. And then a jump ball. Oh, to Stockton. To Spencer. Malone. That's it away. And he hustles down court three in the regular season. Benoit! The Western Finals. Oh. Tumbo draws a foul. Carl Malone made it uh, easy for these guys to, to become loose, and he made the big plays early. Now they're having fun as you get a great feed and a big throwdown and a celebration between Felton Spencer and David Benoit. <laughs> Stockton throws it away. A rare turnover by Stockton. It's Brian Williams going the other way and scoring around the second. Reggie Williams for three and hits it. 81 to 69. Want to see the hammer thrown down. They feel they need one or two more cheap shots. They almost got one there from Felton Spencer. Ryan Williams with his fourth foul. Don't have to score. You're not making a big net in that lead. Mark Moon. He hits inside the line. 83 71. Robert Pack to the tumble and a foul on Malone. Catching them, and they're working the clock. Tumbo with a deflection. Malone is 0 for 7 in this quarter. That's the difference. Pack takes it right up Matumbo's back. Matumbo running the alley, and Pack says, I'll just ride him. Come tentative again. The clock is at 4. Stockton over Brian Williams. Back to a 10-point advantage. Less than 2 to go. Richie Williams can't hit the 3. Brian Williams gets it back.
the fifth foul off, and a dream, personal dream, awaits down at the summit in Houston. Robert Papp. Well, sensational dunk. We've seen that throughout the playoffs, and that's something for fans to look forward to next year. Stockton will hold it. Utah has won this semifinal series, and Carl Malone, the hero. Just now. They told them a great game and uh, they played hard and they played the whole game really hard and clean and you don't see that a lot. We were watching a lot of stuff that was going on in the East and over here everybody playing really physical and hard and not trying to hurt anybody. So it was a nice game for us. It was a huge win for us. Carl, you said that this was the game of your career, but it was a tough week for you. You had struggled offensively. You had a public feud with the owner of the team. How did you put all that aside and come out and dominate the way you wanted to? Well, I've had a lot of things happen to me in my life, and I've always been able to believe in God and bounce back. And my, my family, my mom, my wife, and kids, everybody been real supportive. And it's going to take a hell of a lot more than that to upset me when I know what I want in life. But I just want to thank God for giving me the strength to go out and play hard. And it was a humongous win for us. I'm just excited. Not too much time to stay excited, though, because coming up, you've got Akeem Olajuwon and the Houston Rockets. You've already faced a dominant shot-blocking force into Kembe Matumbo. Will that experience help you? Well, it will definitely help me. Uh, we don't have long to celebrate. Houston's going to be ready for it. But the main thing is we go to the conference final, something we haven't did in a while. They're going to be ready for us. But the main thing is for us to keep our composure. And we got new life. So hopefully we can go in there and get the job done. But it's a huge win for us. Going to the conference final for the second time in your nine years here. Congratulations, Thank Carl. You. Let's go back to Dick.